Hello, in this tutorial we will design a landing page using ChatGPT. We will create a landing page for a particular product, smartwatches for sports people. This tutorial aims to explore whether ChatGPT can help us with ideas for web page layout and UX writing. And the first thing we need to do is define the structure for our page. The structure will set a foundation for a page's content and functionality. When writing a prompt, we must formulate what we want to achieve and mention all relevant contextual information to help ChatGPT better understand our intention. In this case, we want to state that our product is designed for sports people. Based on the information that ChatGPT provided, we need to design the following sections. Hero section. The hero is the first thing visitors see when they land on the page. This section will feature a headline, a short description, nice imagery, and call to action button. Key features. This section will highlight the product's key features. Technical specification. Potential customers will be interested in learning the technical characteristics of the device, such as battery life and built-in sensors. Testimonials. To make the page more trustworthy, we need to add a section with quotes from actual customers. FAQ. ChatGPT suggested adding a section about support and warranty, but I think it's better to include this information in the FAQ section along with other questions potential customers might ask. There are two sections that the structure proposed by ChatGPT is missing, the call to action box and the footer. Once the visitor reaches the end of the page, they should see a section that will invite them to act. At that point, they will have all the required information and be able to make more informed decisions and a page footer, in our case, should include a bare minimum of information. It's worth adding a copyright message and links to social media accounts. Now let's use the description of the structure generated by ChatGPT and turn each block into a design. To speed up the design process, I will use Reloom Library, which is available both for Figma and Webflow. The hero section is the first thing visitors see when they land on the page. This page should create a context for the user. Users should be able to tell what this website is all about by looking at the hero section. In our case, the hero section features a headline and description of a product, along with two call-to-action buttons and imagery. We will use a zigzag layout for the key features section. The zigzag layout combines pairs of image and text blocks. When visitors scan this section, they see either an image text or text image block. It is a simple yet very effective layout because it creates visual interest and keeps users engaged in scrolling. The technical specification should feature three or four key characteristics of the product. Note that when we describe technical specs, we need to speak the same language as our target audience. So when we mention battery life, we shouldn't say capacity. 296 mAh because it doesn't say much to most users, but we should rather say two days without charging. Testimonials should be quotes from actual customers. The FAQ section will answer the most common questions that potential customers have about this product. Call to action box should contain text that will motivate visitors to act and provide relevant call to action button. Finally, the footer with only essential details. Here is how our web page will look like. Now we need to replace the placeholder text with actual content. Let's start with the hero section. ChatGPT created a very nice headline, but the summary is way too long. Remember that users don't read, they scan. We need to optimize our design for fast scanning. We will use only the first sentence from the description generated by ChatGPT. Key features are next on our list. Key features impact visitors' purchase decisions. It's vital to identify the critical features and provide a short and to-the-point description for each one. As you can see, ChatGPT identifies three key features and describes each one. Although descriptions are fine, they are a bit long. Similar to the hero section, we need to leave only one sentence for each description. 
let's ask ChatGPT to describe the technical specification of our device. The technical section should feature a summary of the hardware details that this device has to offer. The language we use for this section should be accessible to various groups of users, including people who are not technically savvy. As you can see, ChatGPT not only created a solid list of technical details but also described each detail using simple language that everyone could understand. Now let's fill in the testimonials section. Testimonials should always be collected from actual users. You should always include quotes from your real customers. During the design phase, you can use tools like ChatGPT to generate the testimonials, but don't forget to replace them with actual quotes before make your website public. ChatGPT tends to write long texts, but you can use a simple trick to optimize the output generated by this tool. Simply ask ChatGPT a follow-up, make testimonials shorter. Now we need to add content for the call to action box. We can reuse part of the text we've had in the hero section because it will help us create a sense of continuity. But for this section, I want to use very actionable labels for call to action buttons. Labels get yours now and unlock your potential are very relevant to the primary goal. I think that join the community is a very interesting option for the secondary button because it makes us think about building a community for our users. It's time to fill out the FAQ section. For our example, we will cover only the first point from the FAQ section which is service and warranty. As you can see, ChatGPT generated a very valuable text that can be used for the FAQ section. It's time to check how all blocks will work together on this page. As you can see, ChatGPT was able to speed up our design process. Not only it shared the structure for the page, but it also helped us to fill it out with actual content. The tool tends to write longer text, which often requires optimization. But overall, ChatGPT can significantly improve the efficiency of the web design process. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Thank you.